So welcome back to my channel. This is Game of Dom, and um, Swedish tanks have already got a nerf. <laughs> I kind of suspected they would because a couple of these tanks were seriously, seriously in the realms of OPness. That's the word. Um, so Daily Bounce uh, is reporting or has reported that um, there's actually quite a few nerfs, and they're quite sub substantial actually. So the Cannon Wagon, which is the Tier 10. Um, has its engine power reduced by 28%, so that's quite a big drop, and that's more than a quarter of its speed knocked off it, so we'll have to see what that means in terms of um, speed, because it was a fairly nimble heavy tank. Drum reload increased from 28 to 33 seconds, that's a big, big hit as well. Shot reload increased from 2.75 to 3 seconds, so that's the time it takes individual shells to be reloaded. 3 seconds to reload a shell. Hmm, not sure about that. And changes to hull armor. Does that mean they've made it weaker? Probably have, because the hull armor was actually pretty good, given the new mechanics and the angling of it. Um, that was pretty pretty OP in its own right. The Emil 2, which is the tier 9, so again, nerf to its engine power. So they're reducing its speed. They obviously thought these tanks were too good, too fast and too good a gun. So they've hit the they've hit the reload speeds, they've hit the engine power. So the tier 9 has had engine power reduction by 28% with its top engine and 35 with its uh, base engine, which is, again, a massive hit. Um, with the 12 centimeter gun, reload speed is two, from 3 seconds to 3.51 seconds, which is, again, pretty big. And the same with the other gun, the 10.5 centimeter hull armor nerf. So, again, they've hit the armor. Emil 1, which is the tier 8, which actually I really like as well, I think it's a nice thing. Engine power again reduced by 18 and 21%, that's a big jump. They've matched the reload again from 3 seconds to 3.51 as they did on the other two tanks, or the other tanks, sorry, tier, tier 9. And yeah, and the other 10 centimeter gun, so that's the, the, the one you get the standard when you open the tank, goes from 3 to 3.1, so that's not a massive change. The one I'm intrigued by is the Leo, the Tier 7. Um, it's reduced its engine power by 30%, um, and the other engine by 31%. Now, one of th this tank is has a very slow reloading gun, uh, big caliber, does a fair bit of damage, but it's got zero armor. One of the things that was good about it was the fact it had incredible speed, so you could get around the battlefield nicely in it. Um, if they're nerfing the speed, is there anything going for this Leo anymore? We shall see. And the Sturmwagen 74, the Steve 74, which is the tier 6, which I really, really loved as a tank. It's only tier 6, but they've actually increased the engine power there by 19%. So it's intriguing. Let's go and have a look and see, what, uh, see whether we can notice the changes. So this is the tier 10 um, Cannon Wagon which is, uh, uh, well, uh, when I played it on the test server so far, it's been an absolute beast. But looking at the stats, it looks like it's had a seriously, seriously nasty, um, well, nerf in every significant way. So first up, let's look at the armor. Um, they reduced its hull armor from, what was it, 110 on the front plate to 90. Now, it's lovely angling, but oof, that's a big drop big drop so that's the first thing which isn't great but that's by all means not the uh, not the worst thing on this so um, the engine power has been reduced considerably um, so it's gone from 900 to 700 yeah 900 to 700 that's a huge drop off used to have a power ratio of getting up to 20 which was amazing it's now down to 15.5 which is not great and I suspect very strongly like the tier 9 that uh, this thing will although it still kept its top speed it will probably take forever if at all to get up to that 60 kph now with that power ratio dropping so radically from 20 to 15 that's enormous drop that's really really bad um, it's it's into the normal heavy tank run, um, area now which which kind of it needed because it was crazily crazily OP um, so other changes are to the gun 
well not not the gun itself but to the reload so again significant nerfs here it had a rate of fire previously of getting on for seven it's now six rounds per minute um, the load time has gone from uh, about 26 something like that to 30 31 so that's not good um, the reload shell time between each shell um, has gone what's it gone so 2.7 to 3 um, and the, yeah so not only if you slow down the reload of the whole clip but also the individual shell reload has dropped considerably uh, well, gone up considerably so made it slower to reload after each shot's been fired um, and average damage as a consequence has gone down from about 2700 2400 so it's lost nearly 300 damage per minute uh, since this so you've lost armor you've lost mobility and you've lost gun power yeek yike now in fairness i think this tank definitely needed it it was absolutely op as hell um trouble is now is it anything special still got the gun depression still got that titanium turret still got a good auto loader let's see so it's again it's interesting how this is about the second week maybe even the third week of the test server second week and first few first week certainly used to see only saw um, Swedish tanks that all you saw being played pretty much um, now you've seen less uh, on our team we've got one two three three wow <laughs> three out of fifteen whereas the enemy team have got one they've only got two so yeah definite drop off right let's see So you can see my reload working away, it's, I've got a good crew in this because this is the crew that uh, I'm training on the real server um, and they're already 100% on their second skill so they're pretty reasonable. Um, this is still not sluggish, I mean, I mean the top speed is great on this tank, so I'm already up to top speed, it doesn't feel quite as bad as I feared. Um, the tier 9 I think is much more noticeable how slow it is this doesn't feel quite so bad but still I think I would have been up there fighting for reload the clip so it's still got nice mobility don't think there's anything wrong with that at all really nothing wrong with that at all it's a pretty good it's still a very strong tier 10 definitely clip reload is a problem well, not a problem but it's certainly not as good as it was get my way so I would have finished him off probably in the old server old test server because that um, I didn't get a chance to fire a second shot I mean it was turret oh, bounced can't put it through this weird, I thought they had pretty... I did finally get it through his commander's hatch. We need to reload now because I've got no shells left. So you can see the reload time is pretty tardy now. Reload between shells and reload between Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Firing at dead tank. Right, that was a wasted shell. So there's my compatriot over there. Let's go and give him a how to do. 
under the lower plate. Another one under the lower plate. Ah, he got away. Tarnation. Let's reload. Reloading in. I was dead before I could get away. So yeah, I think um, this is still not a bad he uh, tier 10 heavy. It's, um, it's still very, very nimble for its tier. The arm is still pretty good. Speed is a little... the acceleration is the problem, it's not the top speed. Top speed is excellent. Whoa! Sorry, mister. I expect you to stop right there. There you go. I think that's... Uh, I think the tier 10 is less of a problem. I think the tier 9 is, I mean, to be honest, as I say, it really needed, it really needed a bit of a nerf because it was seriously, seriously OP. Um, now it's just come back to being a, a good, a good heavy, I think. So the tier 9 um, Emil 2, this is, again has had the same treatment. It's lost a lot of its engine power. 28% uh, off the top engine and 35 off the second engine. Uh, it's reload, sh um, so it's uh, shot reload, so that's between individual shots has gone from 3 to 3.51 with the top gun and 3.51 and 3 with the other one. It's also had uh, hull armor nerfing. So let's have a look. Um, engine power is now 520. It was a whacking 665, which is uh, amazing, really. It's also got extra weight by the look of it, so it was... I'm, oh, no, hang on, I've got equipment loaded on this, whereas I didn't on my original. So, specific power of now is 13.9, which is distinctly slow. It was 18.0, which was uh, 18.02, which was very, very good. Top speed, again, has not changed, 56 at 18. Um, but it's actually traverse speed it's got better uh, I don't know whether that's because of the equipment I've got loaded but anyway mobility has definitely suffered badly it's no longer that um, nimble um, kind of vehicle that it was before um, so that's really really intriguing what about the armor values it said there's been a nerfing of the hull um, so it used to be 100 and it's now 80 and 60 which it still is and 30 which it still is so it's lost 20 millimeters of frontal armor on the t on the hull hmm. which is not so great either um, I think again the reload thing is probably going to be less apparent than it was um, let's see the DPM here is 2000 so it hasn't really changed significantly um, load time 3, 36.7 that's for the clip reload um, which is not changed at all rotor fire is now 5.8 it was just yeah around the same so actually I don't think the gun changes are quite as, uh, as significant um, the speed the armor definitely are let's see whether we can get a game in it and see whether they can test it out Again, bottom tier. <laughs> Everyone that goes out on tier tens on the test server. <sighs> now, in the past, I'd use this one quite as a nimble, sort of fast, heavy. Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? You know, I'll still head where I would have headed if it, it, you know previously in this tank and see what it what it feels like. I am a heavy, but um, I am a bottom tier heavy, so...
Yeah, it just feels like any other heavy now, to be honest. That really has made a significant change to its acceleration. Of course, one of the beauties of the Emil 2 and the Emil was the they felt like fast heavies with an autoloader. This is quite significantly slower. Well, top speed hasn't changed, but getting to that top speed is what has changed. Yeah, so it's a significant speed nerf, that's for sure. Line nerf just nice to be got full artillery. So have they. Oh, joy. Prepared to get squashed by artillery. Yeah, coming up, look, I can hardly keep up with that E5 I have ahead of me. Wow. That's fairly significant. Got no sixth sense, so... No way of knowing when I'm spotted until I get shelter in my plate. Which is never the best way to be, but... Oh, there's a TVP. T28, uh... Tried to get under his lower plate, but managed to hit his top plate. Where did that shell go? You've got two left in the chamber. Let's try and track him there. Oh, I thought I tracked him. Oh, there comes an artillery shell, lovely. back. Lost my commander which doesn't help. B100's coming up to help us. Oh it does seem a very low slow reload on the the clip. I didn't think they changed that. Right just about there. Artillery's just owning me. myself into a bit of pickle there but that definitely definitely has slowed that tank down because it had a nice top speed but now you hardly ever going to get to that top speed which is a real shame but I guess it was a little bit um, ATT right this is the Emil 1 which is the tier 8 um, heavy tank this is the first of the heavy tanks along the line um, this has received some quite substantial nerfs, not as bad as the tier 9s and tier 10s, but this has had a nerf too. Um, so they have changed um, the loading between shells um, on this tank. It's gone down from, let me just remind myself, uh, bah, 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 with the 12 centimeter gun from 3 seconds to 3.51, and with the 10.5 centimeter from 3 seconds to 3.51. So that will have quite an impact on its um, DPM for sure so DPM no actually it hasn't surprisingly it really hasn't had such an effect as I would have expected so according to this the average DPM is 1726 um, whereas when I first looked at this it was 1787 which is intriguing um, 
drum reload is exactly the same, rate of fire is dropped from 5.59 to 5.39 so that's not a big nerf, actually that's really not a problem I don't think that's going to have a huge impact on this tank which is a really fun tank to play um, but the engine has been reduced uh, by 18 and uh, 18 and 21 percent respectively so that again will probably influence its actual acceleration let's have a look with the top engine in I've got an engine power now of 380 and it was five, uh, 450 so the yeah so your acceleration has dropped considerably um, was 15.3 it's now 12.9 uh, traverse speed and everything else hasn't changed, top speed again hasn't changed so it's just again the acceleration of the blocks so I don't think this one's such a big big change but again let's have a try see what it feels like it's not very user friendly we're straight into a tier 10 game um, and there's a hell of a lot of tier 10s on each side huh. so I'm not really going to get to try anything out here but let's see so we're going to try and what are we going to do? I'm just going to move out of the way of all these heavy things. Let's get back down here. So the acceleration is a little sluggish. I am using cinnamons and coffee. Is it coffee? Yes, it's cinnamon coffee. Noticeable actually how slow that reload is. That was never whist whistlingly quick, but uh, it's blow firing. Hope it's blow firing. Blind shot into that. Oh, thank you. Reload. Oh, look at that! Got perfect shots on the side of his turret. I'm not loaded. Okay, I can be spotted. So our TVP is a team killer, good. Okay, so it's... I thought the reload was more noticeable than I expected. 
the actual um, acceleration less so um, but um, it was a very very nimble heavy it's not now okay so this is the tier 7 um, Swedish medium tank the Leo um, seen a lot of these on the battlefield I think it was going to be quite a popular tank um, so they drastically reduced its engine power though went from 650 with top engine to 500 horsepower um, which is a big big drop and uh, that has had a corresponding drop off in its specific power ratio so it used to have a massive 25.2 uh, power ratio now it's only 19.4 um, still has the same top same top speed of 60 and and reverse of 20 and same traverse speed of 41.5 so that hasn't changed it's, again it's just the acceleration or deceleration in this case so that could be a problem I have to have a try with this one see what it looks like and feels like so it's funny how the test server starts to sort of um, settle down after a while when you first go on it it's all Swedish tanks or whatever the newest tanks are in the book um, now it's settled down a bit and we don't get quite so many which is good makes it a bit more easy to a proper comparison I guess so let's get this thing moving still not bad away from the lights it's no no whip it anymore I mean it used to be a severely good fast tank I don't know why I've gone this way. Got no sixth sense, obviously. It's too soon. Come on, Steve. Stick your head up. There's my red tea. A bit hopeful. Yeah, the definitely the power is noticeably reduced. It used to be a much more nimble tank than this. I still think it's not a bad vehicle. definitely not as quick as it once was. They flatten this out of the end. attention to me? Clearly not. Okay, I'll just take you apart, I don't mind. How bizarre. Is this guy just not looking at his map? Acceleration is definitely not as good. Yeah, this is going to get me killed. 
killed. I couldn't get away. T95E2, what the hell? Anyway, you can see the acceleration was nowhere near as good as it once was. And with a slow um, loading gun like it has, a good, um, good pen, um, it's going to make it more of a static tank. I think one of the fun things about the Leo initially was that it was uh, a really good, um, fast you could dive in and out, fire the gun, get the hell out of there, whereas I tried to do that in that battle and I couldn't really. Um, so it's got brilliant top speed but you're gonna have to get, get into a position, fire and then get out of it and not trust to your speed to get away. So, anyway. So this is the tier 6 uh, Sturmwagen 74 which is the, so the tier 6 medium tank on the Swedish tank line. Um, this had a buff, so it had an engine buff to its top engine. This one here, the whatever that one is. Can, oh no, that's a gun. <laughs> oh no, it's a gun. Um, the two stone scanner Vabus 608 had an increase in engine power from 340 horsepower to 420. Now how that hasn't changed the top speed still has a top speed of 45 and a reverse of 18 hasn't ch changed the traverse speed either 35.46 uh, traverse speed which is okay for a medium uh, but it has changed its power uh, specific power ratio it's gone from about 12.9 to 15.9 so that means it should get away from the lights a lot better than it did previously and, and actually that's really really important in a, in a tank, particularly a light armoured vehicle like this thing. Um, it's all very well being able to do 90 miles an hour, but if it takes forever to get to that 90 miles an hour, um, it, you're going to get caught and killed. Um, this thing now will get away much quicker. Uh, 45 is not an outstanding top speed, however, so yeah, you'll still have to be very careful. But let's see if it makes any real difference, um, or whether it not it's noticeably different with a game. Okay, so another short-handed game. Um, this happens on the test server, as I've said before, because there just aren't enough people playing the lower tier tanks, so they'll put you in a, a short-handed game. So let's see what the Steve's power looks like now. Um, I'm going to try and head up the hill, try and use that speed. There's another person driving the E25. I keep bumping into people about driving their E25s. I just do not get it. You can't get that on the test server, so you've got to have it in your garage. So why the hell would you play with a tank you already own? Uh, so we're moving off, we've got up to 40, which still seems fairly sluggish this thing, not as sluggish as it once was. Um, we're up to top speed, there you go. So it's hardly, hardly setting the world alight with its uh, acceleration now. Anybody going to come up and help me up on the hill? Oh yes, the you'll see us. And you can see as I hit this slope, a slow ride down. Slow ride down. You'll see us come with me, which is nice. One Leo's down there. Got to find one Leo up here, surely. It's a weird looking tank, this, isn't it? Really weird. Oh, both Leos are down there. Looks like the enemy haven't put anything on the hill. Although I've got to test the engines, I'm not really going to fire a gun, I don't think. continue with our test by diving down behind. thing. Still feels a bit sluggish, but it's just a medium tank. It's just a pure, pure medium tank. Haven't even fired a shot yet. 
them on the test server, they say. Try out your tanks, they say. Don't fire a shot, they say. Oh, I did find that. So yeah, it does reload quick. It uh, does um, move a little bit quicker, but not really. So you'd notice. I think it's still a little sluggish, but it's a fun tank. I like the Leo. Uh, like the um, Steve 74. I think it's going to be a fun little tier six. Nothing outstanding, but okay. So that's a quick look at some of the nerfs and a, the couple of buffs that there are on the um, on the test server already for these Swedish uh, medium and heavy tanks. Um, I think in fairness they probably needed it. I think these tanks were a little bit too good. Um, interesting they've done nothing to the TDs so far so that obviously means they're playing fairly as they expected whereas these things the mediums and heavies have definitely been in my opinion were very very strong and I think I said in my earlier video about this line I was really excited about the TDs but I found the mediums and the heavies much more fun to play than I expected didn't think there'd be anything special but uh, they were actually very very good so yeah it's going to be interesting to see what of these come through into the real server but uh, I think the my bottom bottom line on these is the Leo's losing its acceleration is a real downer. I think the Emil has been neutered somewhat. Uh, Emil one, the Emil two, likewise, I think has been neutered somewhat. I think the Kranwagen is still a very strong tier ten, um, and um, although that drum reload is a bit of a nightmare, it's uh, it, it's with a decent crew good equipment you'll get that down and i think it'll still be a very competitive tier 10. Um, the tier 9 tier 8 yeah we'll just have to try those i think um, what was lovely about those was their speed i don't have a problem with changing the uh, reload time but the acceleration crippling is is a nightmare for them um, and the leo you, i think you're just going to have to play it a very different style i used to be sort of a dive in shoot get out again kind of style in that but you haven't got the acceleration anymore so you're going to have to play it much more defensive Steve 74 don't think that's changed it's still still a good solid tier 6 medium so anyway hope you like this quick update on the test server developments if you did click like and um, if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel really appreciate it numbers have been going up which is fantastic so thanks for that and I'll see you again soon Thanks for watching. Enjoy your games. Have fun. Remember, it's just a damn game. It's not for real. Don't let the buggers drive you down. And I'll see you again soon. Game it on. Out.